welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day video so come along with me after dropping my son at school I had to go get some things done some work done and along the way I saw this restaurant it is called cafeteria and I've been wanting to go there actually since last year but I couldn't anyway I stopped by for brunch because I was starving and I knew I had so many other things to do before I got home so I ordered something of their menu called Noah's garden omelette so it has like eggs with tomatoes pepper onion mushroom mozzarella cheese cheddar cheese and they often accompany it with like savory seasoned sauteed potatoes and they can make it spicy or not spicy so I was like see put the pepper let the pepper be plenty <laughs> so that was what i ordered and then i was about to order for juice but then i saw a picture on their instagram page and i'm like see whatever is in that picture is what i want to drink like am i the only person that does that i order off of pictures like if the picture is fine that's what i'm ordering and this is what i got it was <gasps> it was so good and so refreshing and i don't even know the name i was just like just give me what's in picture anyway this is what i had for brunch it looked so beautiful in fact i don't think this meal needed the bread on the side because the potatoes and the eggs were enough for me but i guess like if you're really really hungry you finish everything this was actually delicious and i'm inspired to have this kind of dish in my home anytime i go to a restaurant i get inspired and i'm like oh i'm going to add this to my menu so that's what i've done anyways like i said if you want to see a proper review of this restaurant because i have things to say <laughs> if you want to see it let me know by you clicking the like button and leaving me a comment On my way home i had to stop at the supermarket just to get a couple of ingredients and some things and i saw this cute mug you guys it is pink and white and you know i cannot resist this shade of pink and white i really loved it but i also want to show you something else i found they had these ankara mugs and plates and i thought it was really beautiful but to me it was so expensive because just this plate is four thousand five hundred and then the mug is four thousand 500 i'm like 9000 for one mug one plate in this economy <laughs> so i didn't buy it but i thought it looked gorgeous for lunch i made yam cottage but this is not like asaru asaru is like the yoruba yam cottage this is more like an Igboish kind of yam cottage if you want the full recipe let me know and i'll share it on my channel there is one way to make it but the way i made it today was like trying to make it like a sorrow this is not the typical way it is made but i made it like this because this is just what i wanted and this is what my family will eat and they enjoyed it the process is simple and straightforward i've just boiled some goat meat and then i'm going to take off the goat meat into a plate because i want to fry it and then in that goat meat stock i'm going to put my yam because i want that stock to cook the yam is going to be delicious i'm adding some ogiri play it gives it some native authentic flavor i added some cameroon pepper i added some blended pepper tatashe i'm adding some smoked fish some crayfish and smoked catfish i'm also going ahead to add some crayfish add some more water because the stock is not enough and then cover the pot and allow it to cook till the yam is almost done so we go over to the other side i'm just frying the goat meat now because i don't really like naked meat <laughs> most of the time i like to maybe grill or fry my meat but the truth is you don't have to do this because you are actually going to put this meat back in the pottage so that's why i said i'm making my own a bit different the awesome thing about cooking at home is that you can cook food however you like you can add ingredients you can remove ingredients according to your preference and this is the kind of like the evil way of making yam cottage if you're looking for like meal inspirations you guys download my cookbook or download my food timetable 
now that the yam is soft i've added some palm oil i've added some uba this is like Igbo delicacy <laughs> you know and i'm just going to mix everything together i'm adding the beef at this stage and then the food is almost cooked to be honest adding the beef and then i'll cover for a while so that all the yams that i mashed can become like a very thick stock you can use any kind of vegetables i'm adding green and i'm adding ugu like i said if you want a full proper recipe let me know in the comment section and i will do that for you but from this video you can get an idea of how i prepared this delicious yam cottage for dinner i'm having leftover couscous and i've already shared this recipe on my channel these are the ingredients you need couscous some vegetables onion liver and you basically make it the way i make fried rice so if you want to see like the full recipe i'm going to link it in the description box or it will hover on the screen on the top right corner so the first thing i'm doing is just you know stir frying the vegetables but i started with the liver because i wanted the flavor of the liver to be in the oil and it is going to you know make that food very delicious in the same pan i'm going to add the onion and just fry it till it's a bit soft i will season at this point with curry powder and thyme because this is when you can make sure you release the flavor from the curry and from the thyme i always do this if i'm cooking rice or anything where i have to put curry powder i fry it in the oil now i'm just adding tomato puree if you've watched any of my like jollof recipes you'll see that this is almost the same process i'm going to fry the tomato puree till it has lost that sour taste and after that i'm going to add blended tomato so this is blended tomato with onions and pepper and it has been boiled if you have chicken stock i'll advise you to add it into this sauce but if you don't you can use water like i did it was still delicious at this point i'm going to pour in the couscous and allow it to just soak in that sauce and i'll turn off the cooker so you don't need to cook it just soak it in the hot sauce and that's all you need to cook it very easy something you can have for breakfast lunch dinner anytime and what i was having today was the leftovers of this recipe In another pan, I'm just stir frying the vegetables. So I've added the onion, some peppers, bell pepper, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. You can use only one kind or you can use all of them. So this part of the recipe is kind of like making fried rice. <laughs> so I'm going to add some corn. Make sure you season your vegetables. I always add like a bit of salt to my vegetables so that it tastes good next i'm going to add the liver and just mix everything together and then we will transfer the stir fry vegetable to the couscous couscous doesn't take long to cook check the package instructions some take six minutes some 10 minutes it depends on the type of couscous you get and i'm just putting everything and then mixing together you know you have good couscous when it does not stick together and someone said couscous is like gary yes it is like gary because this was the leftover, I added fried plantain to it. And you guys, this combination was amazing. I should have added it on the first day, but you know, leftovers are always great. So I just mixed everything together and it was delicious. For the full recipe, I'll have it in the description box or in the top right hand corner of this video. I enjoyed putting this video together to inspire you, give you ideas of what to eat, what to cook. If you've not gotten my food timetable, get it. The link is in the description box. Also, my cookbook, the link will also be there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.